If you've been following the grounding incident in the Swiss Canal, you might have come across this image. The Ever Given, the container ship that ran aground in the Suez Canal last March 23, has allegedly left a controversial track on the Red Sea, just moments before the grounding incident which blocked the transit of hundreds of ships and disrupted global trade. This is a screenshot of that allegedly controversial track. Okay, I know a lot of you are thinking, is that a dick pic? This screenshot actually went viral during the first few days of the grounding incident, which caused a lot of speculations and conspiracy theories of whether it was intentional or if the navigation systems were hacked. So what really happened? First of all, a little background explanation so we can all have some context on the situation. Whenever ships approach the vicinity of any port, they are required to call the port control or harbor control. In this case, the Ever Given was scheduled to transit the Suez Canal, so naturally they had communication with the Suez Canal control and requested information about their convoy schedule, which is pretty much standard procedure. Now, during arrival and departure, or basically any maneuvering operations, the ship goes into what is called standby, which means the captain is on the bridge, together with the officer on watch, and the helmsman which is basically the guy who's holding the steering wheel. The engine room is also manned during this time, so that means the autopilot and any other automatic controls that are available on the ship is disengaged. The ship at this point is controlled manually. So no, the hacking theory to control the ship and draw a dick pic, <laughs> that's not a thing. In a previous video that I made about the Suez Canal, I have mentioned that ships are assigned as part of convoys, so upon contacting the Suez Canal control, they would have been given coordinates to either drop anchor or just hold position and wait for the pilot boat. Let's take a look at this simulation which was posted by Vessel Finder on their YouTube channel. This is a recreation of the marine traffic that was detected by their AIS network at the time leading to the incident. As we can see, looking at the timestamp, it's 0112 UTC. That means it's 312 AM in Egypt time. Presumably, they were ordered to maintain position in these coordinates as that would be their rendezvous point with the pilot boat. Now, at this point, the pilot boat was going from one ship to the next, dropping off pilots to the other ships in the convoy, so naturally, it took some time before it reached the Ever Given. Now, I'm not entirely sure if the Ever Given was running her engine here or just drifting, but since they were already far from their rendezvous point, they turned the ship around and went back to their designated coordinates. So by now, the pilot boat Mosahib 2 was already nearby, delivering the pilots to a few more ships. This was when they decided to go in circles in order to stay within the vicinity of their rendezvous point. It's also possible that they didn't want to stop the engine. This is in order to maintain momentum so that when the pilot came on board, the ship can quickly speed up. Now, at this point, they could have easily turned to starboard. If they did, we wouldn't have this story right now. But as you can see, another ship, the Al Nasriya, was creeping up on their maneuvering space. Adding to that is the Costco Galaxy, which was already maneuvering at the time. So turning to starboard might present a tight spot, while turning to the port side presented a very open ground. Easier to maneuver and with no targets nearby. So as you can see, by the time they reached their designated coordinates, the pilot boat was already there, and eventually the pilots came on board the Ever Given at around 5.53 in the morning, Egypt time. 
All in all, it took about two and a half hours of trying to maintain their position, which inadvertently led to this image. So, was it intentional? I don't know about you, but two and a half hours and all they came up with was this crappy image? I'd say they could have done a better job in less time if they really wanted to. So, no, it wasn't intentional. If you've experienced working on board the ship as part of the bridge team, you'll know that maneuvering operations, especially with a lot of traffic around, is very stressful. Fooling around would be the farthest thing from your mind. I hope this clears up some of the speculations and conspiracy theories regarding this image. If you have any other questions, just post it in the comment section. If I find it intriguing enough, maybe I'll make a video about it. See you next time.